1916, three aerospace icons were born. A hundred years later, all three are here at the Farnborough Air Show, celebrating their centennials. Aviation Week visited Boeing at its Centennial Experience Pavilion. Here's Guy Norris. This week marks a very special occasion, a hundredth birthday for both Boeing and Aviation Week and Space Technology. Boeing has put on a special display here at Farnborough Air Show to commemorate this event, which looks not only at the past of all of the companies that formed Boeing, but also the present and looks into the future. So let's look at the centennial exhibition and see what we've got. Boeing has all, always been about innovation, and here is the Innovation Center at the center of Boeing's centennial experience here at the show. As you can see around me is a visual presentation of some of that innovation, and above me is the BMW, the BMW 1, the original float plane built by Bill Boeing on the shores of Lake Union in 1916, the aircraft that started it all. In August 1916, just two weeks after the birth of Boeing, Aeronaut Aviation and Aeronautical Engineering, the grandfather of Aviation Week, was also formed. So here, in partnership with Boeing as part of Boeing's centennial exhibit, we also have representative covers from Aviation Week's history and access to its digital archive, which Boeing, in partnership with Aviation Week, helped create. We've also got a little competition where you can test your aviation knowledge. Boeing's centennial exhibit is not just about the past, it's also about the future and Boeing's next century in aerospace. Right here in this section, we cover everything, for example, from future power sources and alternate energy to what the, spa the future spacesuits of the astronauts are going to look like, as including their crew, which is going to be flying in the CST-100 Starliner. So there's a little bit of something for everybody here. 100 years ago, Marcel Bloch designed the first Eclair propeller. He then went on to design fighter jets for the war. In 1945, he changed his name from Bloch to Dassault before continuing to design aircraft for the jet age. Now, today, the Dassault company is here at the Farnborough Air Show celebrating its centennial with its signature business jet, the 7X. Yeah, we are more than proud about our uh, 100 years uh, of Dassault because uh, Dassault is the only family company which remains uh, involved in uh, aeronautics and uh, we are preparing the future in the Falcon side with new products as well as the military side with Rafale, post-Rafale and uh, unmanned combat vehicles.